Hi, it's Dr. Janet Pope. I'm reporting at Room Now at hashtag ULAR2023 in Milan. I'm uh, at Janet Burdo. I want you to follow us on Room Now. I want to talk about something that's really interesting um, to, I think, many of us and prescribers uh, for rheumatoid arthritis. This was oral presentation uh, 0025. And what they wanted to look at in the large British Columbia administrative database, they actually wanted to look at patients with um, looking at major cardiovascular events in autoimmune diseases. And they looked at the use of, in type two diabetics, either a GLP-1, that's one of the drugs such as Ozempic, or looking at a comparison, a D PP4 inhibitors. And there were about 3,500 patients on the GLP-1 who had autoimmune diseases, and there were uh, about 7,000 plus on the DPP-4. And they found something pretty important and interesting. So what they found was that the all-cause mortality was far lower if you were on a GLP-1. And what this has been found is in uh, regular patients with type 2 diabetes who have an elevated cardiovascular risk, they will have a big cardiovascular reduction, especially over the age of 50, if they're on a GLP-1 versus the comparators or most of them. Um, they found that this is also true now looking in the autoimmune diseases, first study to actually not just look at uh, reduced uh, surrogate endpoints, but to uh, have a hard outcome such as death and mortality of cardiovascular events. What people are saying though is they really need to look at some of the other contemporary comparators because um, the GLP-1 certainly has a cardiovascular reduction in diabetes but there's another class of drugs as well. So keep the, us all informed about this but these are drugs that will decrease cardiovascular mortality in our patients so if they have type 2 diabetes they maybe should be on drugs like this. So enjoy the rest of the meeting and we'll follow, keep following us on Room Now.